Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. The police, come up, come to the front door. It's the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Hey, how's it going? How, how's everything going? Are you, you live here by yourself? I'm sorry. You live here by yourself? No, sir. No, do you got a wife? Here with, yes. All right, I just got a call. Internet trolls have gotten into our life and caused us to have spats and stuff. And okay. I guess now they're calling the cops. There's okay. this guy called Nick Bravo. She's associated with. He's an ex-con. He just got out of jail, and he's right back doing this internet drama stuff with people. And he's turning my life against me. Does she know anybody? I'm jealous. I complained about it and stuff. And then something horrible happened. This man's daughter died. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to keep peace in the household. We had two detectives come up here to pray with us. Okay. Something's going on where she started lying about me to a bunch of people online. Like she was victimized. But everything's fine. We just had Taco Bell. Okay. You know, it's we're talking. Arm. And hey, it's fine. It's the police. The Everything's fine. I'm just doing a well-being check, sir. Trolls called the cops. So. Internet trolls. What the fuck? Dude? Yeah. You mind if I come in and just see your wife? Talk to her real quick. Dude, she she can come fuck out. All yeah, she can come out. Shit, That's fine. Man, there ain't so. nothing going on here. Yeah. This is bullshit. Yeah. Buddy, it's best you get this. You gotta get this. What the fuck is HQ Lima one sixty. Can you advise the name of the complainant on my 2 and 22? Nah, dude, 10, 26, you shut you. that fucking internet shit off. Yeah. I want that internet shut down, dude. This is bullshit. Waking me up in the middle of the fucking night. You can go back that. inside, sir. I'll talk to her real quick. So, You can go back inside if you want. I'll talk to her real quick. So. I'm sorry. Can I talk to her about herself? Yes, sir. I'll yeah. Oh, good. Kilo 161. Kilo 161. How's it going tonight? Uh, 
there was some alt- a verbal altercation mm-hmm. in which you threatened me, but it's fine now. I'm okay. okay. And I know my friend. He was trying to find me a hotel, but we couldn't find one that was close enough for okay. me to stay at the night. The, do you want to go to a hotel? No, it's I mean, fine. if you do, I can take you there. So it's fine. I, I, it's fine. The, do you feel safe staying here? Yeah, I'll be fine. I just don't want to leave my cat. Okay. Okay. But you do feel safe staying here. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, okay. I'm fine. All right. Do you need any police services? Not right now. No. No. Okay. All right. If you need us, you can always call us back. Okay. All right. All right. You have a wonderful rest of your night, and you can tell your husband and whatnot. You guys can go back Thank to sleep, you. okay? Thank you. All right. You have a good night. Hello. First time for everything. God knew, man. So you're Mike. Yes, I am Mike. Right people, the right place, the right time. Who's Pete? I'm Pete. You're Pete. Pete. Who's this? this? That's Vince, the landlord. The landlord. Right here. Landlady, the landlord. Robin. Landlady, and Bruce is. He's in his room. Okay. Has anyone talked to Bruce lately? Just a few minutes ago. I just laid five the minutes. law down. Five minutes. Let's go talk to Bruce. Yep. Yes. You want me to knock on the door? Sure. Okay, out here. Get out of your way. My hands where you can see. Oh, we're good. Good. I'm going to go for a walk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if I go right for a walk, I was going to go to the store. The call, the call yeah. we yeah. just heard. You said you're Pete? Yeah, I'm Pete. Okay. Yeah. I'm Do you want to just go look around and yeah, yeah, I got it. real quick? Yeah. Sure. You mind if I talk to you real quick before you walk yeah. Sure. There, got you. Right there. We cut the call. We just promoted. You said you're Pete. Yeah, I'm Pete. Okay. Yeah. I've you want to go look around? And yeah, talk yeah, to yeah. Pete real quick. Yeah. Yeah. You mind if I talk yeah, to you real quick before you yeah, walk off? Sure, sure. Come on. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever you want to talk. To you. What in the world is going on? I well, okay. Mike lost his daughter yesterday. Oh gosh. Gosh. Part, I'm, I'm sorry, I mixed up about it. It's uh, she had uh. I mean, it's suicide. So Mike went through that. Bruce seemed to have been sympathetic and understand, and he was praying, praying with us, and he was doing yeah. everything good. And he said that him made up, um, but obviously he didn't. Okay. So, <coughs> well, y'all are coming this way, and then come this way, Mr. Pete. Okay. So, may I sit down? Where you want to sit? Anywhere. I must. I have a sore hip. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, uh, so we took this morning, Mike not coming to the and said, Could you, um. So we, we took her over to a hotel, the Scottish Inn's way on the other side of town. He doesn't know where she's at. Okay. Her money came in today, which was perfect timing. Okay. So she's okay, and she's going to be checking in at 1 o'clock. They're letting her sit there. The lady is okay. going to get her in as soon as she can. Okay. And then she's going to call her family and try and get some help from either her, her father or her. Why she need help? Not help finance, fi- okay. just she wants to go by them. Maybe go stay with them for a while. Why does she not want to be here? He, uh, I don't know if he was saying things to her. She was saying nasty things on the internet about her and stuff. Okay. And okay. see, she had a friend from years ago and she was talking to him once in a while and he got so jealous he wouldn't leave it go. And he okay. said he was over it and he wasn't over it. Okay. So. Did you hear any threats or physical violence or anything like that? 
No, I, she just said you could stop trying to control me in my okay. life. You know, okay. She just wants to be like, uh, she like want to be control. a normal person. Yeah. Have you heard any threats that he made about hurting himself? He just said he couldn't take it, like he can't take this or something, but okay. I don't know how Nothing about to, killing himself? Those words I didn't hear. About hurting himself? Okay. I know, I know. Sometimes that's that's part of the thing. If they don't say that, then you can't do nothing. I understand. But I... I I don't want to make up anything because I didn't okay. hear it. Okay. So I don't want to make up anything. I appreciate it. Yeah, because I was, to be honest, I, I just know that those two were not communicating well because he had told me how much he loved her and cared about her. Okay. And he'd do anything for her. He cared about is her getting her schooling done and all that. Okay. But he's been just torturing her about this guy all the time. He won't leave it alone. He brings yeah. that subject up constantly. And then he's telling people on the internet. And then he blames. Okay gossip on the internet but yeah. Tony stay off the internet so much you know he's on it too much but I'm sorry no you're fine um, so your you're, last name is Hefty yeah H-E-F-T-Y yeah and Pete your first name yeah Peter Peter yeah yeah. my sister my, my, my daughter Heather was a police department person okay. in Kenosha County okay. Wisconsin okay. yeah she works for the um, VFW now but she did work for the police department for a while right. and then she worked uh, at the courthouse and so All right. I'm familiar with some of you you have to go for. Well, I appreciate you talking to me. If you want to go to this corner store, you said you're good to go or wherever oh, you're going to go. Thank you. I just you're want to talk. Officer Tracy? Tinky. Tinky. Oh, Officer Tinky, nice to meet you. Nice you're to meet a you. Nice person. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Mr. Mike. Do you mind if I speak to you over here? Or if you mind stepping or. Just leave it. I mean, I can't hardly walk. Yeah, that's why I said we'll switch. My daughter killed herself the I'm other so night. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. I don't want this man here. I get it. He is threatened to hurt that cat. I don't know if he's going to threaten to hurt himself. He says one thing and turns his fucking mind around. He has been tormenting that woman, and tormenting her, and yelling and screaming and fighting. For fucking two weeks, my daughter just shot herself in the head. I'm dealing with my other daughter and my ex-wife. I've got to go to the crime scene and clean her room. I don't want this motherfucker here. I don't want this evil spirit in my house. He brought it in. It's him. Can't blame nobody but himself. What's been going on with him for the past two weeks? He know? is jealous, evil, and fucking raw. His mind ain't right. Uh -huh. His fucking mind ain't right. Okay. He will he will say everything's cool. He will manipulate mm -hmm. everybody and act like everything's good. And then behind closed doors, he will torment that woman. I took his wife to the motel room mm -hmm. at the Scottish Inn this morning and he got her the hell away from him. I just mm -hmm. went and bought a cat thing for her, so I'm taking the cat back to her to the hotel. It's her cat? Yes. Not your cat. Okay. Yeah, she's scared to death that he's gonna he threatened to kill the cat last night. Okay? He acts like a little fucking kid. And then turns around and turns into an evil fucking demon. He's unpredictable. Okay. I cannot okay. leave my house. Do you know if he's diagnosed with anything? Autism. That's about it. Okay. He's on disability. Okay. okay. He can't handle things mentally. Okay. Um, he needs to be behind bars. He needs time to think. That's what we're trying to figure out. Isn't there companies that will come in and claim? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I don't know them. Right. I don't know who. I'm sure if you Google, I'll, I'll and I was going to tell you that so you don't have to go over there. Right. I don't know if victim services will help with that. I'm not positive by all that. Right. Just a minute, I'll come back and talk to you. Y'all are land lords. You mind if I talk to y'all over here? Are y'all planning eviction? Y'all are just telling him to get out? No, we're not telling him, him anything. We told them that it's he brought to them him. in. See, okay. he brought them in without permission. So that, I believe it all on him. It's so, too much for us to go down and try to evict everybody that we don't even have IDs on. I'm going to tell you this. To protect yourself mm -hmm. and to protect your home, if they, he says... You can't kick me out. Right. I'm staying here. He can legally stay here. Right. Right. Yes. So that's why I'm saying you might want to go get the eviction because if he gets, if we take him today and he gets out and goes, I'm coming home, 
He can kick that door in and come in that house. Right. He can bust that window and come in that house, yeah. and we can uh, charge him with anything. Right. So even if he says, get out, that's not good enough. Yeah. So to I told yourself, them I have to evict everybody. If I evict, it's I'm everybody. everybody. Everyone? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you, you do what you have to do. Mm-hmm. You can evict just him. You can evict everyone, whatever you have to do. But like I said, if he says, I'm not leaving, he, he says get out, you say get out, he doesn't have to. I, I, that's a, yes, so, me. Yes, me. Maybe he won't realize that, and he'll say, okay, I'm leaving. But if he has nowhere else to go, does he have family around here? I think he does. They do. Okay. I think they do. Maybe family will take him in, but maybe they don't. I understand that part yeah. about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, legally, we yeah. can't. They, mm-hmm. Things Everyone have changed. Everyone that moves somebody mm-hmm. else in, we tell them that. Yep. We so, tell them that. I can do that. Is, that's just my two cents to y'all to help y'all. Yes, sir. I think he's a threat to himself, okay? He's not in the mental state. I don't want to deal with another suicide. No, I get it. Okay, I want him gone. Please take him in cuffs, Baker Act him, take him wherever he needs to go. That's why I've been asking you certain questions and everything. Yes, he's he's a threat to himself. I'm telling you that. Why do you say that? Because I believe he's going to try to kill himself. He just lost his wife. His whole world's falling apart, okay? He can't take you see the state of mind. He can't. There's no telling. Uh-huh. I don't want that blood on my hands. I get it. No, no, no. I, I get it. Uh, did you see? Did he do anything today that kind of struck you as odd besides his oh, behavior right now? Honey, it's been ongoing for two weeks. I, I know, I know. But I'm trying to get you to tell me anything specific that happened. If that makes. He threatened to kill the cat. Right? Mm-hmm. He threatened to kill his old lady. Next thing I know, he's going to kill himself. Okay. All right. Okay. You, let me go talk to this That's officer real quick, feeling. and I'm going to come talk want, to you. Okay. I don't want that on my hands. I don't want this man. Hey, I get it. Y'all have him? Yeah. Okay. I said, hey man, if you don't want to hurt yourself, I just send that email. He was like, I was just so upset. Oh, y'all enough? Why don't y'all do anything already? Oh, I'm just waiting. I I'm 35. I guess I didn't really express that. She's primary. She's phase four. Where you want to sit? Anywhere. I must have it sorted. Yeah, yeah. I'm sit, sit in the down shade. I, I gotta talk to somebody because my wife. My wife has left me. A tragedy befell this house and this man, and it caused a lot of misery. We got into confrontations. He, she was involved with somebody online that turned her against me. And she, last night she spread word all over the internet that I'm a monster. I mistreated her, and I freaking took care of her for eleven and a half years. And she went blind from cataracts, and I got her through that. All I ever did was do everything for her: cook and clean. And she, she wouldn't do anything anymore. Something happened. She got involved with this guy, and she turned on me. And she told everybody of my lies. And then they had cops. These trolls on the internet called the cops over here. She's into these gossip groups online that want to mock and ridicule people and torment them. And I couldn't get her out of it. She's addicted to it. I had to turn off the internet last night to get her to stop. And now. She just left. She traded me to have that life. All I did was love her. Oh, God, help me, please. Okay, Mr. Bruce, do you know why we're here today? <laughs> I got a friend who lives down here with those since I'm six. And he's coming by and gets off of work to pick me up. Bruce. My sister Bruce. sends me some money. <laughs> you have to and I'm lost, and I've Bruce. lost my heart. Do you know why we're I here? Do anything. God help me. Bruce, we're trying to help you, but you gotta listen to us. Can you listen? My sister is out of town. 
She can't help me right now. Her, my friend is working. Like, he can't come right now immediately. Bruce, we and can't I'm help you if you don't listen. Some clothes, and I need to tear down my computer. And I'm going to go Bruce. with him hey. tonight. Bruce. It's Byron. Gotta pull together. Go. Can you listen? Do you know why we're here? No. Okay. Okay, so we're here because we have a report that you were threatening to kill yourself. Do you feel like harming yourself or harming others? I'm bright. I'm scared. And I lost the love of my life. I understand and that. My heart is torn to pieces. So thank God for mercy. What did I do to deserve that? Did you send your wife a message stating that you wanted to kill yourself? <laughs> I'm afraid that I will. I'm afraid that I will because I've lost so much now in my heart. My whole life is destroyed. And I can't even freaking talk to nobody because everybody is going through so much right now. Well, that's the thing. We can take you to someone who <laughs> wants to listen to you and to help you out. Okay? I don't know who to talk to anymore. I need mean, everybody's abandoning me. I don't know. Bruce, can you listen to me for a second? Bruce. God help me, please. I don't have any other thing in the world. Bruce, what's your middle name? <laughs> I've lost everything I have. Bruce. Bruce. Focus up, buddy. What's your middle name? <laughs> Barland again. <laughs> Do you know what day it is? I know, I know that, but I love you so much and it hurts so hard. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Where's Mickey? <laughs> okay. I felt like I was going to have a heart attack in the past two weeks. It just got involved in the sky, okay. and she started mocking me and stopped and taking his side, and I was Bruce. like, what's going on, and this guy kept calling her private. So this is what we're going to do, okay? He's an ex-con, and he's on probation. Bruce, you're he not under arrest. To people. He torments we are not them. going to take you to jail. Done it for we are years. going to take you to a facility where they can help you, and you can talk to someone about how you're feeling and what's going on, okay? But you are not under arrest. I don't want to kill myself. I don't. I don't. I really don't. Why I love you, God and I love hey, Jesus Bruce. Christ. Bruce. And I've seen a lot of things Bruce. happen in the name of God. Listen up, but why would you send your wife that message? I don't you don't know do why this is happening to me. Mm -hmm. This chastisement. I don't know. Bruce. <laughs> Bruce. It's horrible what just happened. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh God. You may feel like nobody cares, but we're here I because we care. I don't we care. Why all this well, we can take you to someone who can help you understand and help you process all this information, and it's a lot My for one person to do. Sent me some money. My friend is picking me up. He's Where's your sister at? Staying out here, Robert Perez. It's on no road. And then I guess I'll have to find a place to go move to that I can afford to live on. I'm on SSI. And I will have something to eat tonight and money and I don't have to worry about anything now and she's gone God take care of her please
Right. I, I, I can't deal with it no more. If you didn't mean to send the message, it's different. <laughs> but why would you send the message? What you want to I didn't hear you. So why would you send an email saying that you want to hurt Sorry, yourself? Sorry, you have to speak up. I'm down. Why would you send an email to someone saying that you wanted to I hurt yourself? I was so toward Mr. Toward it hurt my soul, my heart. And if I said that, I'm wrong. I'm, I'm not going to do that. No, I promise. I mean, were you but just I'm looking for attention? Or? And I need to heal. And I need peace. And I need my friends. And that's all I got. But you were the one that sent it, right? Sir. But you were the one that sent the message because you're feeling upset. Yeah. Because I, I don't want to do that, though. Yeah. I don't. I, I just don't want to do that. that. That's not going to make anything better. I have to try. I have to try, and I have to keep going. I'm 52, and I just got to keep going. It's all God is telling me in my heart. You have to be strong and go through it. Bruce. <laughs> He's going to get me go through it, and I'm going to do it. I'm do what? Live my life. I don't want to bother nobody no more. I don't want to be a burden to anyone ever. I just... This is the, the hardest lesson to learn about people on the internet and the way they destroy your life. Bruce, how old are you? I'm 52. You're 52? Do you work? I'm disabled. Disabled. How long have you lived here? 10 years. 10 years. We were American Hearts Radio. Um, have you any had, <coughs> have you ever had any problems here other than this? We, of course, draw the guys. We all loved each other. Yeah. And we got over it. Are you related to the people or are they friends? No. But he's been like a brother to me for like 10 years. And we've had some hard times, but we got through it. We kept this network going for all over a decade now. And so much has happened with the pandemic and we lost people we do. And it's been traumatic. The economy is bad. And we tried, and we tried, and we tried, we just kept going, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep trying and going and surviving. Just give her a second, bud. I, I don't want to die. I don't, I'm scared to die. I don't want to. God, I'm sorry that I've done anything wrong to anybody. I don't understand why this is happening. She told everybody a bunch of lies about me last Charlie. night. And she was telling this guy, this guy was live streaming and mocking me. So I'm a big baby. And she joined in and she started mocking me too. And she's sitting across the room. You want to know my opinion? I knew it was over. I knew it was over. I knew she is. She threatened to leave yesterday. Bruce? She was about to. She had called these people on lunch. She knows. Well, it and sounds one like. Of them was willing to get her a hotel. And then all of a sudden, she stopped. She went into the living room and she bought Taco Bell. And we sat and ate in peace. And then when she laid down, she got on her phone and started listening to this guy. As she was going to sleep. It sounds like you deserve someone better. Ever since he got in her life, she turned on me. Something happened. Mm -hmm. I don't understand what all I've done is cook for her, clean for her. Mm -hmm. And she's just, I don't know. I lost her. What did they say? Hmm? What did they say? What are you talking about? I don't have to know if I've heard anything. I've seen anything. Okay. Wait that? No. His wife said he sent the email. He confirmed he sent the email. That's what you did. I think we should make her act in. Sounds great. Emotionally unstable. You want 16? Sounds great. Yep. Yep. Okay. So here's the deal.
I don't feel comfortable leaving you here by yourself because of your emotional I, state. You I, stated you wanted to kill yourself and you sent that to your wife. You stated you wanted to hurt yourself while we were sitting here talking to you, okay? So we're gonna take you to get take to get talked to and seen by a medical professional at MHRC. They're gonna talk to you about how you feel. They're gonna make sure you're good. And if they deem that you're good to be on, out here on your own, they will let you come home. But they want they will do an emotional slash psychological evaluation on you to make sure you're good. Can you give me time to write down my sister's telephone number so I'll have it? Do you have a phone? I don't have a phone. You don't have a phone? Okay, so we can make sure you, you take a down number down. with you. So that when you're there, if they say you can go, you can go ahead and call her, let her know, like, hey, I want to come home. They might give you medication to help you feel better if that's the case, I don't but want drugs. that's all up to them and up to you. I had that's between you and them, okay? Years so, okay. Okay, so we're we're yeah, just gonna need you to come with us, though. We're gonna put you in cuffs, but you're not under arrest. Like I said, you're not in trouble. We just care for your well-being, and we want to make sure that you are 100% okay to live your life the way you want to live it, okay? And then, on top of that, it'll get you out of the situation so you're not constantly Is reminded of what's going on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. We cannot leave you here. Okay. Can you get me just a couple of minutes? I'll grab my shoes. Well, we'll, we'll have them put a shirt on. We'll have them bring your shoes. Hey, we can't go back inside, though. Yeah. Sir? So I don't feel comfortable leaving to go back inside. None well, personal. Can I get my wallet? I just had too many things go south that way. Do they know where your wallet's at? Mike! Can you grab my wallet off the desk and my shoes out of the living room? And any old black shirt in there. Okay. You want to stand up so we can go yes, ahead and get you in the car so you can sit in an actual seat? I'm going to put cuffs on you, like I said. I agree that I need some rest. Yes. You can Think get peace of mind. Bit. I just want exactly. to do the right thing. Okay, just turn around, put your hands behind your back. Do you have anything on you? I'll take this hand. You want to put your hand behind your back? Thank you. And then your other hand, please. Okay. Let me double lock these. Yep. One second, please. Yeah. This piece first. I just got my idea. Try and rotate your hands so the back of your hands are touching. If that, if possible. Why is it not working? I should have put it the other way. Make sure that they're not too tight for you. Okay. How about this? I don't want to pinch your skin. Should have grabbed my other cuffs. That should have my wrist. Do you have hinge cuffs? Mm. Are they wider? Mm, about the same, but... Okay. Is this too tight? Because it's on the last one, but... I don't know if it'd be easier to put palms together. But Maybe. I don't know. But we won't be in the car that long. Yeah. Is this too tight? That's okay for now. It's okay? Just, uh, okay. We're going to 20th Street? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, like Yes, sir. Okay. I've been there before and then I use that as substance abuse problem. Okay. To get a police officer to ask for yeah. Okay. Do you have anything in your pockets? I do need to talk to somebody. Yeah, I know about Because I've got to do that thing. I'm saying that. Just make sure you don't have anything on you, alright? Do you okay. have anything in your hat? Ah, I can, can see Can you slide it. into these? Or do you? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, you got my wallet. Thank you. Yeah. Are you able to? Um, I'm sorry if I smell. I'm sweating and stressed out. Crying. Okay, it's warm out here too, so yes, I get it. Got holes in my sweatpants. And I also got my bait card, my food mm -hmm. card, and the ID in it. Your shoes good? That's the best I can do. Okay, let's go this way. Okay. We just want the best for you, alright? Watch your step. Well, hopefully these, however long you stay there, will give you the time to clear your mind. Yes, sir. Across in his car. You want this side? This side. Okay, let's go on the other side. Walk around, Mr. Bruce. To that side? Mr. Bruce. Bruce? 
Everybody that's why. That's I'm me. Sorry. It's okay. Watch your head as you get in. Uh, Ow. You are right. Yeah, if you... That dog is switch. out. Um, just bang out a yeah, we got one thing real quick. Yep. And, uh, it, it, that's my swag glove. Oh, yeah, I thought it was going to work and it busted. I'll grab the bag. You have his 94 pulled up, right? Yeah, here's a form. Am I good to put my information, not Nikki's, or you want to put in. Okay. What's your ID number? Seven five three one nine. All the odds backwards, starting with seven. Hmm. What's that song? I forgot what it is. Er, uh, Anderson or Street or whatever the name is. Whatever you should have seen that song during the race. Whatever she identifies as a gender.